Hi kids on, I'm Mr. Tom, and today's story is about a man named Nehemiah. Our story starts in the land of Persia under the reign of King Artaxerxes. Now, Persia had taken over Judah and taken a bunch of captives and taken them back to Persia as slaves. And one of those slaves was a man named Nehemiah. Now, Nehemiah was cupbearer to the king, which means that he was around the king and he did whatever the king wanted and he also brought him drinks. Now, Nehemiah had heard news from Jerusalem that the walls were torn down and that Jerusalem's any enemies were taking advantage of it. And so Nehemiah was super sad. And King Artaxerxes saw that Nehemiah was super sad one day and he's like, bro, what's up? And Nehemiah's like, I need to go help my people. I just need to go right now because they need me. Can I go? I know that I'm serving you, but I really need to go. And King Artaxerxes is like, bye bye bro, go take care of your peeps. I hope you have fun. And by the way, here's some stuff. Make sure that you're well supplied. So Nehemiah went on his trip and he traveled and he traveled and he traveled and then he got tired and maybe he crawled for a while. Maybe he didn't. I don't know. It looks dramatic. We're going to go with it for now. And eventually he got to Jerusalem where he found his peeps and he looked at his peeps and they looked at the wall and he said, guys, we should fix this. And they're like, you know what? We totally should. So they started. They started working together and putting bricks on the wall and stacking things up and repairing it so it was better than it was before. And you know, that's not a high bar, bar when it's all bad and stuff, but the enemies of Jerusalem were not happy with the wall. So they started making angry, angry threats at the people of Jerusalem, trying to get them to stop. And that just was super, super scary, super scary. So Nehemiah came up with a plan this time when they were doing their work and doing their labor. They worked in teams and they worked armed. They all carried weapons with them so that while they were working, if someone were to come and attack them or threaten them, they could grab their swords and spears and weapons and go, hey guys, we'll take you out. We will take you out so bad. Look at us wave our swords around angrily. You can't even, you can't even deal with this. And then they go right back to work. And the work went really well and really quickly. The people came together, they worked well, Nehemiah came along and looked at it, and he was just really happy with the work that everybody was doing. So good, so much work, guys. Very happy, thumbs up all around. And then, oh no, the enemies are here again. What are you gonna do about that? What are you gonna, oh yeah, we have our swords, and we're gonna wave them at you. That's what we're gonna do. And you can't, you can't deal with that. And in no time at all, the walls were finished. And with the finished walls, the only thing to do was to celebrate. Okay, so that is sort of the story of Nehemiah. I took an entire book of the Bible and we condensed into a three minute little thing. So we missed some stuff. If you want the whole story, I highly recommend you read the entire book. It's not that long. And it's a super cool point in time where someone saw something that needed to be done. They saw people in need and then they went and helped them. Like, that's it. That's what they did. Someone was in need and they went and helped them and God blessed them. And that's really what I want you to see from today's story is that there's lots of times when people are in need. There's lots of times when you know the right thing to do. Pray about it. Ask permission from your parents. Get help and go do it. He might didn't do it by himself. He went to the place and they all worked together and they made great things happen. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Uh, this is number 20. That was pretty cool. I hope you enjoy the video and I will talk to you next week. Later guys.